Hello everyone, this is Hassan Najafi Khabushan from Akam CIE Group. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the Nusselt number in a tube using ANSYS Fluence software. Here you can see the Nusselt number equation. Uh, in general, Nusselt number is a, a ratio of convection heat transfer to conduction heat transfer. Uh, another form of the Nusselt number can be a Q double prime hydraulic diameter over the thermal conductivity and delta T. Uh, the delta T can be wall temperature minus bulk temperature. And here is uh, the equation for calculating the bulk temperature. For calculating these two parameters, which is uh, the most uh, hard parameters to calculate in numerical simulation, we use a uh, mass weighted average for uh, calculating the bulk temperature and area weighted average for calculating wall temperature. For calculating this Nusselt number, let's go to the ANSYS fluent. I already read a file and a, a file with case and data. As you can see here, it's a simulation for flattened tube. The length of tube is uh, one meter. So uh, first I want to sh show you how to calculate these uh, two parameters in a specific uh, length of the tube. For that, first, uh, we should create an isosurface. For generating the isosurface, or I can say creating a, an isosurface, we go through the results tab and click on create isosurface. In this uh, field, I just should give a name. I will, uh, for, first, I want to create a surface for calculating the bulk temperature. So I write it, bulk ten. This is just a name. You can give it anything you want. And I click mesh for surface of constant. And since I already know that this is the Z direction, so I click on Z coordinate and just click compute to make sure that I choose the right coordinates. And I just select a value. In this, this value is the location through the Z coordinates that you want to create the ISO surface. And just cl click on create. Next time I want to create the ISO surface on over the wall of the tube. So I just call it, um, let's say, wall temp. And at the same uh, point, the, the difference in this uh, uh, creation for uh, wall is that we should uh, click the wall surface so that the software generate a line in order to calculate the temperature over it. So we just click on create. And uh, let's, uh, let me to show you the surfaces that I generated. So here is the ISO surfaces. I also already generated many ISO surfaces as you can see here. So for generating the ISO surfaces, we have uh, two options. First option is a normal one that I show you, but uh, sometimes as you can see here, you have to generate many ISO surfaces to calculate the Nusselt number in uh, many different uh, points. So I will show you in another video how to uh, generate these ISO surfaces by reading just a journal file. So let's go to show the ISO surfaces for calculating the bulk temperature. I click on the display. So this is the surface. And uh, the, I can say the line for calculating the bulk temperature. So this is the line that we generated uh, in the second step. So after we generating the ISO surfaces, let's go through calculating the bulk temperature and wall temperature. So in the results, I click on surface integral. So if you need to know the definition of these uh, parameters, these types, report types, you can, I already opened the Antisfluent uh, Theory Guide, Section 
26.31 you can see the definition of area definition of integral so here the definition of area weighted average as you can see here and here is the definition of mass weighted average if you compare this equation to any equation of uh, bulk temperature in the heat and mass transfer box or with the equation that I already show you so you can see that it's similar so I want first uh, as I told you I want to calculate the bulk temperature so uh, I should select mass weighted average in the field variable I should select temperature and static temperature so I click the surface for calculating the bulk temperature and compute so here you got the static temperature for uh, bulk temperature for the that specific time and for calculating the wall temperature I just change the type area weighted average to area weighted average and then in the temperature variable I click wall temperature and compute so here you can see the wall temperature so so copy copying this data to the uh, any fi other file it's really hard so in order to write this data to a, a specific folder to a specific file we can do in this way for example I want to calculate the wall temperature so I already generated many uh, ISO surfaces so I selected them from here by holding the shift button to here and then click on the right I already uh, wrote uh, some files let's say TW which is the wall temperature on just click OK. So here you can see the TW is the wall temperature in the specific ISO surfaces is uh, saved in a TXT file. So this is the data. Let's go to actually if you select a new name you won't have these two data. It's better to save in a new name. So for calculating the Nusselt number, I already created uh, such a data sheet. So here I uh, sell, uh, paste the bulk temperature, wall temperature. This is the H value, heat transfer coefficient, which is the Q double prime to delta T. In the simulation, I already selected the uh, 2000 with uh, considering the heat flux boundary condition so I just wrote that and then I will calculate I calculated the Nusselt number here so here you can have the Nusselt number at each specific point and if you want to calculate the average one or uh, with any method that you would like to calculate it it's based on your research and your problem you can calculate uh, the average one uh, my recommendation is to use the trapezoidal rule so with this uh, rule you can calculate the average Nusselt number through entire your tube and in this uh, excel you can have your local Nusselt number thank you very much if you like the video please like and subscribe my channel uh, in the future I will provide many useful videos in this field and other uh, field in the CFD, Computational Fellow Dynamics. Thank you very much.